And, and also, this is a historic building, and that's appropriate. Actually, I think I was told once it was the oldest continuously running town hall in the Commonwealth, if not the country. Uh, but now it's not run as a town hall. It's been taken over by Wintermel and Wednesdays. So enough for governance. What we need is music and culture. And we particularly need music in these dark days. And I'm speaking metaphorically as well as meteorologically or astronomically. But we'll get through all this. And um, with all you cooperators, everybody here, I think almost everybody's had the booster shot. So congratulations for you all. Um, and we're trying to make this. Welcome, but and then right after them, Tony Trishka and his band of elves or whatever, Merry Pranksters, maybe that's a reference to a bygone era. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, Tony and company will be up here to ring in the holiday season and to provide some musical light uh, to fight the otherwise darkness that uh, so envelops us this time of year and unfortunately this time of life. Um, but at any rate, the best antidote to that kind of darkness is, of course, live music, and we have plenty of that tonight. And we're going to have more on February 5th, um, the, the, the infectiously wonderful, and I don't mean that in a COVID pun. That's not, it's, you know what I mean. He, he inspires you. Uh, Mike Block on the cello, and if you've ever seen Mike, uh, he runs around with a cello strap to his neck, and he's playing all sorts of stuff. And he'll be joined by um, the inimitable, inimitable uh, Joe K. Walsh on the mandolin, and also Zachariah Hickman from Barnstar, one of, one of the most boisterous groups out there, playing Americana, rootsy, compelling music. So that'll be a terrific show. And oh, before, and then on March 23rd, David Greer will be sitting up here by his lonesome playing his guitar. And all I can, I think the, uh, what occurs to me about David is that, in my opinion, he's the heir apparent to Doc Watson, who was arguably the greatest American flat guitar picker ever, and David's right up there. So uh, he's also a great entertainer. So I think you'll get a chance to have a really intimate experience with one, just one performer sharing his experience and his stories. He's older like some of us. And so he has a lot of stories to tell about the musical life that he's led. And of course, uh, share with you some of his uh, musical brilliance on the guitar and vocals. And then um, April 20th, uh, a wonderful uh, Scottish, uh, Scots fiddler and, um, uh, uh, let's see, uh, Hanukkah Cassell will be here. I think with Keith Murphy is a wonderful guitar player from uh, Vermont, and one or two others. So that's, I, I haven't set the date yet for that. Um, and then Watermelon Wednesdays is going to start on June 15th, back at the Whateley Chapel, where the whole thing has been until tonight. Well, we've been here a couple of times. Uh, and that's going to be my good friend and buddy. Uh, Tim Cliphouse from the Netherlands, who's a wonderful fiddler, uh, gypsy-style fiddler, 
and he always brings some incredible musician I've never heard of, and then afterwards can't understand why I never heard of him before. So that'll be a great show. And so um, uh, some details. There's a lift here for anybody who needs it, in case you know of somebody who wants to come to a subsequent show and they're concerned about having a lift or not, we have a lift. There's parking available um, behind the Waitley Inn uh, if you run out of spaces out here, and I should have said something to that effect on the, uh, on the um, email that I send out. And if you're not on the email list, you should talk to me and I'll put you on the email list. And uh, let's see, I think I'm running out of things to say. Neil, do you have anything to add about housekeeping or general conduct? Well, we've got people parking behind the library, so we've got a good crowd. Okay, that's terrific. Well. I'll just leave it at that, and I want to thank you so much for supporting live music and, 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 and being brave and coming out and, and being here. It makes a world of difference to the artists, and I know it makes a world of difference to us. And so I'd like to uh, just introduce Isaac and Isabella. Their group, their duo is called High Tea. Let's give them a nice, warm Wintermelon Wednesday welcome. Hello, good evening. <laughs> we are not Tony Trishka, if you did not see that. <laughs> but we are so excited to be here. Uh, my name is Isabella. I'm Isaac. And we are a duo called Hi T. We are from Greenfield, Massachusetts. But we love driving through Waitley and are excited to be able to stop tonight and actually get to hang out with you guys and see the inside of the town hall, which I didn't know had such an interesting history. Um, but we are here for two reasons. One, we're gonna share some songs with you. And two, we have something really special and important to talk about, which some of you may have heard about something called the Get Down with Your Hometown Festival. It's a music festival that happens online and it's also a fundraiser for three fantastic nonprofits in our area, the Institute for the Mus Musical Arts, North Star, and the Shea Theater. I'll tell you a bit more about it after we play a song, but we are here to promote that and let everybody know about it because it's a really important thing that's happening later in January. At 17, she packed her bag and took off to the city she had never seen. Running from an old church kind of town, surrounded by the hills and hallowed ground. Rosie felt that curse down in her bones. She knew that if she stayed, she'd never go to leave her home. Every snow front, every cobblestone. Nothing ever changed or seemed to grow. Go, go, they say, we're happy here. Our little hands buried the same. Go, go, they say, we're just fine here. said something is it right here
Rosie traveled fast till she was old. On a lonely winter's night when she heard that town had sold. Nobody was left, no, not a soul. They didn't realize, trying to free, their time would turn down cold. Thank you so much. So I am from Western Massachusetts, and I learned how to do all of this at a very special place called the Institute for, for the Musical Arts, which is in Goshen, Mass. It's run by Ann Hatcher and Jean Millington. And they basically help young girls learn how to play music, first and foremost, but also how to believe in ourselves and how to do so many amazing artistic, creative, and just things in the world. And they are part of this, uh, this um, fundraiser called Get Down With Your Hometown. So a little bit about it, it happens in late January on the 28th and the 29th of 2022, and it is a live stream music festival with artists from all over Western Mass and nationally recognized. I know that we are going to be in it, and there's a lot of other artists that are gonna be um, announced soon. So make sure you follow and watch and donate if you can. Money also goes to the Shea Theater, which I'm sure we all know in Turner's Falls, which is one of my favorite places to see music and to play, and North Star, which is a self-directed learning center for teens. Um, a friend of mine's father runs it. It is a wonderful resource. So basically, we're here to say, find out about Get Down With Your Hometown if you don't know about it. There are uh, pamphlets, little flyers, bookmarks, if you will, outside hey, by the door. Like this. There they are. I said, Isaac, can you hold up the flyer? And he said, yes, I can. So that is his job. <laughs> Uh, but grab one, it has all the necessary information. It's really just such a fun time. Even if you can't donate, tune in, watch, support live music, support local music. That's why we're all here. So without further ado, we have two more songs and then we're on to the main act of the night. to the Build you a way out of the quiet Thank you.
small sample of what we do. We play a lot of indie folk. We play rock. We play blues. Maybe some punk. Who knows? Uh, we've played all over Western Mass this past year, and we have loved every moment of it, and we hope that this continues to happen. So if you haven't gotten boosted, get boosted. If you haven't gotten vaccinated, get vaccinated. That's all I'll say about that. But, you know, help. We all do our part to make this happen. And to echo Paul, we're just so happy to be here and get to share music with you guys and with Tony Trishka and with all the wonderful musicians playing with him tonight. So thank you for coming out. Thank you for being safe. Thank you for taking all the necessary precautions to support us so we can share what we love with you. So last song, this is called Over My Skin. We are high tea. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, if you are so inclined. And thank you for listening. Thank you. What I dreamed last night I dreamed of grit, I dreamed of scar I dreamed of trauma for the light A cabin in the woods I can rest these bones for good Holding you just right You ask me when I look far away What I see over yonder Past the hills and the family grave, my future through the mist. I see all my little lips telling me to find my way, but I don't know where that means I'm supposed to go. I've always been the last one in line, and the changing of the leaves bends its way down onto me, saying there's so many storms that could blow. There's so many storms still rolling by. Ooh, I, I can't, can't help it. I can't, I can't change these heavy winds. Candles deep of evergreen, skipping river stone. Tin pots on the table, bookshelves filled with fables, heavy leather bound cottage home. But I don't know, I don't know where that means I'm supposed to go. I've always been the slowest of the flock, and the bending of the grass. Tells me nothing ever lasts, but I believe that every storm rolls on. Thank you so much. Thank you. Get down with your hometown. Check it out on Facebook, website, Instagram, all over the place.
such an appreciative audience. I, I do appreciate it, and I know those guys appreciate it a lot also. And um, we wish them well in their, in the, their beginning musical journey. <coughs> Unlike these other people <laughs> who began a long time ago, well, some longer than others. They, they have some youth still in this, new, in this configuration. But Tony informs me that Of a Winter's Night is a program he cooked up about 25 years ago, and it's he's been performing it ever since. So I hope by now they have it down, but we'll, we'll ha you, I'll let you be the judge of that. Anyway, they do have it down, believe me. I've, I've heard them. They're amazing musicians, all of them, and it's so great to have them all here together. Please welcome Tony Trishka and Of a Winter's Night. for high tea for doing such a wonderful We are of a winter's night, I guess. I guess that's how you can say that. 
And uh, this is our silver 25th anniversary of doing this, and so it's uh, really thrilled to be here kicking off this, this year's tour with you fine folks. Thanks for coming out, and uh, yeah, give yourselves a hand. Um, before, we, before we move too much further, I just want to say that that last song that we just played, uh, that we wrote, uh, <laughs> all three of those songs we wrote, just this morning actually, uh, as of this morning are now available on all the streaming platforms, so if you want to get us to make a lot of money, that's the way to do it. Being sarcastic, obviously. But the you can listen to it uh, at your home or in your car or at the, you know, massage place or <laughs> at the, the gym, yeah. at the gym. Uh, anyway. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> Let's have a hand for Sean Trishka over here on the drums. I, I speak good. I could speak. We've, do, we've done the show in various uh, iterations from nine piece to four piece, and we're expanded to five piece now. Duo, actually, last year we did it as a duo, that's right. This is Tim Erickson over here, folks. You may know him, you love him. He's the, only, he's the only member of this group, including myself, that's done all 25. Well, no, I was there for all of them also, but yeah, Tim's been there since the inception. And we're going to feature the wonderful Hannah Reed, all the way from all the way from Scotland, truly. She came here just for you folks, seriously, all the way from Scotland. And we're going to do a tune that was written by uh, a woman who was in another iteration of this band, Phoebe Hunt, a wonderful singer. And Hannah's going to do it right this very moment. It's called Celebrate the Hearth.
We will do some tunes that you actually recognize. Well, we started with a few of those, actually. But we like to go for the slightly more hidden and sometimes older songs. And this is one of those. And let's uh, feature Tim Erickson on this one. This is an old song from around here. If you don't know it, you ought to. You will in a minute.
think I've neglected to introduce our bass player. And uh, he comes from really the bluegrass capital of the world, Brooklyn, New York. <laughs> Does, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ebbets Field and bluegrass. That's all we need to know about Brooklyn. And Junior's Cheesecake, for that matter. Oh, yeah. oh and his name is Larry Cook. <laughs> Lest we forget, Larry Cook. Would you like Hannah to sing another song for you? That'd be a really good thing, right? I will let her introduce this song. She has to get her fiddle ready and introduce the song and sing it. She's a multitasker. Thank you very much. All the things, all the things. Thanks, Tony. Hello, everybody. Um, it's good to be back in this neck of the woods. I played the, this a couple of years ago in the summer. And what a different vibe it is in the winter. I feel like the door in the wee, is it, was it the church? Yeah. Don't, yeah. And the doors were open and it was hot. <laughs> it was so hot. So this is actually not that cold, but anyway. Um, we are gonna carry on with a song of mine um, called Way Out I'll Wonder. And this is a song for my grandpa. My grandpa paid for all of my fiddle lessons when I was wee and made it possible for me to do music. So uh, this is an ode to him. It's snowing, losing myself as the wind goes circling round, dancing and cleaning, fast and pointed freely, holding my breath, grasp the wind. We out, I 
Kiss the ground, cry No deep in snow Buried deep in the soil below He carved his travels of Amsterdam and Rome. We relive his memories hung high on walls at home. Lost him in the winter, the last day of the year. I wander beyond the fallen trees, past the weather toppers, and bow down on my knees. Kiss the ground, cry, no deep in snow, buried deep in the soil. Um, what vehicle, what car, what automobile does an egg drive? At Christmas. Or not? <laughs> A yolk's box. Oh, is that what you were going to say? Okay, you win the prize. Oh, darn. Okay. You get to stay at the show. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it's, it's, it's a Yolkswagen, folks. There was not even a titter, not even a snicker. I got nothing, no house whatsoever. Okay, moving right along. <clears throat> We'd like to do a, a song by the great bluegrass singer Chrissy Hine uh, from uh, The Pretenders. Pretenders? Pretenders? Yeah, The Pretenders. It's not 500 miles. It's not 1,000 miles. It's not 1,500 miles. I can kill a lot of time while you're tuning. It's not 1,501 miles, it's 2,000 miles.
So I think it's about time. I know you're clamoring for it. It's the reason you came here. It's time for the drum solo. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Larry. <laughs> and uh, here we go. Wait, wait, I thought you were taking the drum solo. Okay, this is the uh, first time we've done this song, and we're pretty excited about it. Um, it's a Buck Owens song, actually. Do we have any Buck Owens fans? Yeah, Buck Owens, one of our favorites. And I think he started just about every one of his songs with a drum solo, so we're going to keep in that tradition right now. Excuse me, but do you have any blue Christmas lights for my Christmas tree? I want some blue Christmas lights, just as blue as me. The one I love has set me free, but I still got her memory give me blue christmas lights for my christmas tree pardon me pardon me but do you have any blue christmas lights blue they've gotta be give me those damn blue Christmas lights, for that's how you left me. Although, sweetheart, you're far away, I'll kiss your picture Christmas Day. Give me those blue Christmas lights for my Christmas tree. Take it away, Larry. folks. Hannah Reed, coming up. Thank you. We'll be accepting donations of blue Christmas lights out in the lobby. Thank you very much. Sean Trishka, folks. We'd like to do a tune by Hudy Ledbetter, better known as Lead Belly. Yes, we have a very informed audience here. And uh, this is a tune that uh, Tim is going to sing for you. One of our favorites, actually. Yeah, I mean, I never knew that Lead Billy did a Christmas tune, but researching for this show, I found it. And uh, you can find it on YouTube. It's really great to hear him sing it. But for the moment, we are very, very happy to have Tim Erickson singing this very fine Lead Belly Christmas song. Tim, have at it. Christmas is coming and it's jumping. 
Christmas is coming and it's a jumping. Christmas is coming and it's a jumping. Why it won't be long. Chicken grows at midnight on a Christmas day. Chicken grows at midnight on a Christmas day. Oh, the rooster crows at midnight on a Christmas day. Mama calls a little children on a Christmas day. Oh, Santa Claus is coming, and he's a coming. Santa Claus is coming, and he's a coming. Santa Claus is coming, and he's a coming. But it won't be long. So happy on a Christmas day. All the people get so happy on a Christmas day. Oh, they're out of the streets rejoicing on a Christmas day. They're out of the streets rejoicing on a Christmas day. Santa Claus is coming, and he's coming, oh, it won't be long. Oh, Christmas is coming, and it's coming. Christmas is coming, and it's a jumping. Christmas is coming, and it's a jumping.
Tim Erickson, folks. Tim Erickson. Well, of course, with all professional shows, we know there have to be costume changes. And uh, Beyonce probably did five or ten in one of her shows. And sort of keeping in that same train of thought, we thought this might be the sort of thing she would wear around Christmas time. <laughs> this is actually the first time I've ever worn this, is tonight. And it's for you folks, so I'm pretty excited. And Baby Yoda, there's some Christmas tree lights down here also, just so you know. And um, <laughs> I could describe all of our costumes, but that's okay. I think I'll pass. Uh, let's see. This was maybe, I don't know, 10 years ago or something like that. I was invited uh, to come uh, perform in uh, Emily, Dickins, Emily Dickinson's bedroom. Um, You guys, I, I'm really ashamed of you. Um, perform music, playing music. <laughs> she was not there as far, well, I don't know. Her, her, her spirit was there. Anyway, um, they were trying to bring creativity back into her bedroom uh, where she wrote all of her amazing poems. And on the way up there, I decided I should take one of her poems and write some music for it. And uh, my wife drove me up there as I was trying to come up with a tune. She, at that time, had a Fiat, so I was kind of like playing the banjo like that. Um, anyway, and I had the temerity to actually sing it. When I, you know, I wrote the tune and had the temerity to sing it once I got up there. And you fortunately will not have to hear that. But instead, we'll hear Hannah Reed sing this, so here we go. Seeing a show, <laughs> talking about your outfits, telling great jokes, hilarious jokes. <laughs> and uh, I'm sorry I didn't give you a shot at answering that. Sorry. And uh, and then being in the correct key. It's almost unbearable pressure, but I'll bear up under it. Okay, in the key of A. This is called the snow that never drifts. Is softly driving now. So thorough in the tree, at night beneath a star, that it was February's first experience would swear. Like winter as a face, we start and fall anew, prepared for the Nature's alibi, where every storm so spice, the value could not be. We buy with contrast. Pine is good, as near as memory. We'd like to do a. Okay. We're trying to make a fashion statement up here, folks. We're as impressed as you are. Well, as I was about to say, um, we're going to do. A uh, Woody Guthrie tune for you right now, if we have any Woody Guthrie fans here. 
and uh, his output was just incredible. Not only the songs, he's, they say he wrote a thousand songs, but there were many, many more lyrics that he never put music to, not to mention his drawings. There's a new book out, I don't know the name of it exactly, but the Woody Guthrie Foundation just put it out, and it's this huge, great for Christmas, folks, great for the holidays. Uh, it's like a 300-page book of, um, you know, his manuscripts, uh, his songs, photos, drawings. He was a wonderful artist as well, so you might want to check that out. Um, anyway, I had a chance to go to the Woody Guthrie archives and just look through to find, you know, holiday-oriented or winter-oriented songs and came up with this one and put some music to it. And this is called Christmassy Night. <laughs> Thanks a lot, folks. So why do you never see an elephant hiding in a tree? At Christmas. Because they're so good at it. Thank you. So these two birds are sitting on a perch, and one says to the other, do you smell fish? That doesn't work everywhere in the country, but. Well, I can tell a, I can tell a niche one if you can tell that. Any Radiohead fans? Oh, maybe not. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'd like to segue from that joke about birds to a, a song about birds. Tim's going to sing for you. This is called The Carol of the Birds. And uh, feel free to sing along if you can catch the lyrics.
Star in the east, see how it glows. Oh, what's that sound up above the house? A thousand little birds all in a troop. The Bethlehem hurrying two by two. There in the stable, the king of heaven sleeps with the ass and the ox and brown. Tell me, you birds, why come you here? We come to adore the Savior, dear. Just to praise God's only Son with great devotion, we have gone. Angels, shepherds, birds of the air, all sing along our song so fair. And fine. Sing from the meadow, sing from the wood. La la so la so me me la. Cardinal, kestrel, sparrow, and jay come where the babe lies in the hay. Christ on earth with man doth dwell. Join in the song, Noel. That sound up above the house. What's that sound up above the house? A thousand little birds all in a troop. To Bethlehem hurrying two by two. two, by two. There in the stable, the king of heaven sleeps with the ass and the oxen brown. Tell me, you birds, why come you here? Tell me, you birds, why come you here? We come to adore the Savior, dear. We come to adore the Savior, dear. Just to praise God's only Son. Just to praise God's only Son. With great devotion we have come. Angels, shepherds, birds of the air. song so fair hear how the robin carries her line Bob link too with accent fine sing from the meadow sing from the wood la la so la so me me la Kestrel, Sparrow, and Jay Come where the babe lies in the hay Christ on earth with man doth dwell Join in the song, Noel, Noel We're going to do another one of Hannah's tunes right now that you finished today. Finished it today at Soundcheck. At Soundcheck, about three hours ago, she finished this 
finished this song, we'd like to play it for you right now. Um, so this is officially the first performance of this song ever. It's called Gather Round. Well, Gather Round or As the Year Turns In. I have yet to decide. Oh. Next year I'll have a name for it. Many a mile we have crossed to be as one this year. We'll gather close together, light a candle for those not here. For me, it's not about the presence underneath the tree. But Would you like to hear some bluegrass? <laughs> All right. It's sort of old time and bluegrass, but um, we're just going to, uh, we got a few more tunes to go, and uh, it's just a good kick out the jams, as they used to say about old time music. Well, maybe they never said that about old time music, but 
<laughs> we're going to do a song called Breaking Up Christmas and um, feature some fantastic fiddling by Hannah Reed and the whole band and the traditional bluegrass drums. <laughs> do drums belong in bluegrass? Oh, well, oh, this is very shaking. controversial here. Sorry. I saw some heads shaking. You can cover your ears for the rest of the show. <laughs> We're paying Sean to play on every song, so. <laughs> Breaking up Christmas. Thank you so much. We're going to do a couple more tunes right now, and thank you so much for coming out. Um, thank you. We want to thank Paul Newland for bringing us here and, and putting on all these concerts for you folks. Uh, and we want to thank Andrew on the sound. Did a great job. Let's have a hand for Andrew on the sound. You wouldn't be hearing us without him. And we want to thank uh, Neil for helping out just getting things set up. And uh, hand for Neil. <laughs> and finally, I want to thank Claudia down there, uh, checking, checking vaccinations and masks and all that. Thank you, Claudia, for <laughs> keeping us safe. And once again, Hannah Reed on the fiddle. <laughs> and vocals. Mr. Tim Erickson on the guitar and vocals. Sean Trishka back here on the drums and vocals. 
and Larry Cook back here in the backfield on the base. Mr. Tony Trishka. Thank you so much. And we are going to be at the uh, town crier tomorrow in Beacon, New York, in case that's not so far from here. <laughs> Two hours. We'll do many of the same songs. If you missed it tonight, you can hear. Oh, no, you're here. Never mind. Uh, so anyway, thanks so much for coming out. We really had a, had a fun night with you tonight. And uh, Tim's going to sing a, a solo number first, the melody which you may recognize. I think I'm going to do it in D. Do you have a fancy transition? <clears throat> well, uh, this is one of those songs that, that would have been sung about a zillion times in this room <clears throat> with different words. <clears throat> Basically, anything to do with time and mortality was always a popular subject for uh, town meetings and historical gatherings and that kind of thing. And uh, out of the Sacred Harp, we call this page 162. Um, and we sing the following words, which were uh, controversial in their day, which, that being 1709. That seems low. Seems out of tune also. All right, anyway, you know what? You guys will just start in G, right? So I'm just going to sing it wherever. It'll be an interesting, it'll be an interesting harmonic transition because I'm going to pick a note out of thin air because I don't like this D. We sing it. Uh, uh. All right, I'm going to sing the notes first. And this is something everybody around here would have would have would have learned. Uh, everybody here in the town of Waitley. Oh fa 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 la so la so la fa fa la so la fa so la fa so la so la fa la la so fa la so la 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 so la so la so la la so la fa so la la. La sol la sol la fa la la sol fa. Hark from the tombs of the awful sound, mine ears attend the cry. Ye living men, come view the ground where you must shortly lie. Where you must shortly lie. Where you must shortly lie. Ye
much. We'll be out there after the, we finish up here. Thank you. Another drum solo. They came from across the street at the Waitley Inn, so I'd like to give a plug to Chip at the Waitley Inn for being for donating the winter melons and for allowing us. <laughs> and, and the next time, if you don't want to walk down from the milk bottle up here, you could park in the back of the Waitley Inn. It's maybe a little shorter for you. So, and of course, let's see. Oh yes, how could I forget? Tony is quite the sa uh, quite quite the entrepreneurial guy. If you can see these, these are official Trishka banjo socks <laughs> that are on sale behind the door. And, and these complement extremely well. The color scheme is, is brilliant. The t-shirts you'll find behind the winter melons downstairs for only $20 a t-shirt made today. And this is not your cheesy t-shirt. It's heavy duty cotton with, I think they call it print screen, Watermelon Wednesday is the logo on it. It's just in time for the holidays. <laughs> and if you give that and these socks, you'll be loved forever by everybody. <laughs> and I will certainly appreciate you, and I appreciate you so much for coming tonight, and I appreciate you guys for being here. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I put out a Christmas album 20 years ago. Oh no, 25 years ago actually. And was fortunate enough to get Mike Seeger to um, sing a song on there. His uh, mother, Ruth Crawford Seeger, who's a wonderful composer and, and collector of folk songs. She collected a whole book of Appalachian Christmas tunes, basically, holiday tunes. And this is one of them, which I think is just one of the most beautiful tunes ever. It's called Child of God. Please sing along with us and we'll see you out there afterwards. Anybody asks you who I am, who I am, who I am. Anybody asks you who I am, tell them I'm the child of God. Our little cradle rocks tonight in glory, in glory, in glory. Little cradle rocks tonight in glory, Christ child born in glory. Yes. 
Thank you, folks.